coming? <laughs> All right, welcome back to SRN News. Boy, do we have some stories for you that the liberal media won't uh, put out there for you guys, and we've got it for you to hear today. I'm your anchor, Kenneth Monroe, here on SRN, and joining me live here today is my co-host, Sammy Morgan. God, you be so loud. You hungover? No, I'm not hungover at all. You know what causes hangovers, Morgan? Bud Light, and that is the topic of our first story today. Bud Light. Bud Light actually has benefiting uh, effects for the coronavirus. It actually contains one can of those uh, alcoholic beverages right there. It contains your daily dose of zinc and vitamin C, which is known to help fight off the coronavirus. Exactly, Kelsey Smith. I mean, Simon Morgan. Uh, those vitamins are, are crucial to fighting off the coronavirus. Yes, are, are. are you wearing shades at the uh, news segment here? I maybe? just feel like not taking them off today. Kenneth? Outstanding. Don't you have another story? I've got another story for you guys here live at SRN, and uh, I'm going to give it to you right now. It is Mopeds for Dopeds, a, a local uh, uh, nonprofit organization out of London, Kentucky, uh, your local sheriff's department. As, uh, well, basically, have you or a loved one uh, or a liberal dopehead uh, seen somebody walking down the street? Um, uh, without transportation, basically using their cracked out legs to go from A to B, and uh, but not anymore, Morgan. Uh, for a nonprofit organization, your local sheriff's department of London, Kentucky, and East Bernstadt has donated a program called Mopeds for Dopeds, and every doped will have their own moped. And if you see a moped on the street, assume they are a doped and uh, use your defensive driving techniques and move them out of the way. Hmm. Well, see, that's a good tip, Matt. And they should institute that at, uh, countrywide, I believe. That'd be a good program. Exactly. And here's Andrew Dynamite with the weather. Oh. It's getting hotter out there, and you know what? I, I'm, I'm made it past the quarantine. I'm feeling great. <laughs> oh, God. I need more of that goddamn the light. All right. In other news, uh, here at SRN, um, it does not exist. We have discovered a shocking truth um, at one of the coordinating centers located in East Bernstadt, Kentucky. The head of the research uh, department, Dr. Yosef Mengele and his staff have been found performing horrifying evil experiments. And, oh, can, can, can you not like drink so close to me? It's bring up last night. Um, on the, in, uh, in, where was I? His staff have been uh, found performing horrifying evil experiments on the infected patients. What started as a search for cure for a cure has turned into a twisted genetic experimentation labeled the Nemesis Program. Yes, Morgan, the T virus, aka the coronavirus, is true. A crucial factor in human population, as the crisis could definitely end all human uh, species on this planet as we know. The Nemesis program entails a super corona human being very, very hard to stop. And uh, the Umbrella Corporation program, uh, they have their own program called the Alice Program, has become unstable and uh, she alone has become one of us. Uh, civilians, that is. Like one of us Americans. Oh, okay. Alice's. Yeah, yeah. The true, true uh, people of the world. Mm -hmm. Her superhuman program will be a crucial factor in defeating the Nemesis program. And uh, let's give praise to Project Alice as she saves all humankind as we know it. Praying for you, Alice. Um, you know, I always find it funny. I, I thought the Umbrella Corporation would make umbrellas, but I guess not. Um, also, in, uh, in turn, at Lake County, Colorado, another similar strain of the coronavirus, nicknamed the Freaker Virus, has been discovered by private investigator Miles Upshur. Um, my prayers up to him. Uh, may he rest in peace. At another one of Dr. Yosef Mengele's uh, research centers. Crazy exactly. stuff. Oh. All right. You keep going. I'll be, I'll be right over here. Are you good? All right. All right. So if you've been sitting on your ass like we have here at SRN News, been sitting in your room, bored as shit, playing video games, eating chocolate milk, drinking pizza, then you know that what's up next. Weight loss, right? Can I can I get an amen? Amen. Amen. We need to work loose some of them pounds on our ass because we're yeah. fat as. Yeah. 
and we need to lose some pounds. Well, and now, here's Triple X, 69420's Triple X Wait. With, uh, uh, with your quarantine workout with all you lazy ass liberals looking to shut off those fat ass lazy pounds from constantly sitting on your ass, you stupid mother uh, with no further ado, that's, that's, here's a workout. Not me, you right? and all your video game I, friends can that's, partake that's in. And uh, here's Triple X 69420 Triple X with uh, your quarantine workout. Please Roll don't it. play it. Hi, y'all. I'm Samuel Morgan. And you're about to do Samuel Morgan's quarantine workout. Wash your hands. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Woo! That's great, y'all. Let's dry those suckers off. Hey, COVID-19, you don't scare us. I've got 19 ways to destroy your ass. Work those thighs, sanitize. Work those thighs, sanitize. Work those thighs, sanitize. Sanitize. We're spraying. And we're praying. We're spraying. And we're praying. Double time. Spray, 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 spray. And stay inside, move side to side. Stay inside, move side to side. Stay inside, move side to side. Stay inside. Don't touch your eyes, don't touch that nose, don't touch that now. Don't touch your eyes, don't touch that nose, don't touch that now. Wash your hands. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Woo! That's great, y'all. Let's dry those suckers off. And sneeze like this, cough like that. Sneeze like this, cough like that. Sneeze like this, cough like that. Sneeze like this and cough like that. Come on. Soap, water, soap and water. Soap, soap, water, water, soap and water. Soap, water, soap and water. Soap, soap, water, water, soap and water. We're gonna practice social distancing. See that human person? We're staying six feet away. See that human person? And we're staying six feet away. Human person, six feet away. Human person, six feet away. Human person, six feet away. Six feet away! Now what do you do when someone comes up and tries to give you a handshake? Or a hug? Block them! Block them! Block them! Block them! Block them! Well, that was crazy. Uh, Morgan, I did not know that you... Uh, that you did work at videos. I, I do, um, you know, for the single moms out there. Single. What? That one. Uh, uh, so first you was uh, pretty much homeless, uh, sneaking into the studio here and sleeping in a sleeping bag beside okay. the studio here. I already explained myself for that, so we're good on that. And now you're making quarantine workout videos for uh, liberal Democrats who are sitting at home playing video games. Well, it's actually not just for um, liberals or Democrats. Uh, it's for all people of all uh, races, uh, mostly American. But, yeah, uh, Kenneth, keep going. I, man, I'm, I'll tell you what, man, I'm, I'm really proud of you. Oh, really? Yeah, uh, you went from, uh, from, uh, from homelessness, sleeping in the studio, to uh, making uh, uh, beneficial uh, workout Still quarantine studio, videos. But, yeah. yeah, I expect you, uh, Morgan, to be uh, the leader of this great nation, maybe even president. Yeah, President Morgan. Hmm, that does sound pretty good, huh? And, uh, you know, I would expect you to ma uh, make me uh, Vice President Kenneth Monroe. <laughs> no, for sure. I, I would definitely make you uh, Vice President. And then I'd run for President. Yeah. It fixes nation. But uh, uh, only you could be a true leader if you did magic with Monroe again. Like uh, did magic with Monroe. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, you, you know what? Like you, you used to do. You used to do it, and then now you don't do it. I know. Because I... I uh, I, I, I had a lot of things happening through uh, Magic with Monroe. Like I had, I thought it was a rally. It wasn't a rally. I thought there was, you know, just yeah. normal hiccups. No, I, I but if I don't use eggs and water anymore, I expect you to like. You should just trust me. We could bring M and M Magic with Monroe back on uh, the screen here. You know what, Monroe? Honestly, this is probably one of the nicest things you ever said to me. 
and I, th I think we can do it. Um, for all you fan fans out there that have been missing it, we're going to bring it back next week. We'll, we'll, we'll bring back magic, magic with Monroe. No, no water, no eggs. Feeling pretty good. And you know what? Make you feel even better than that? A nice little heart, uh, warming story uh, for our final story of tonight. All right, a local father from Anchorage, Alaska, has not let the whole coronavirus situation get him down. And neither should you. He's actually been going out there, tearing the slopes up, uh, skiing, uh, in case you didn't know what that meant. Uh, he's feeling like a million bucks, he's told me. Um, hoping that he can uh, do some more fishing uh, at like uh, places like Crow, uh, Copper River. He's even gone um, Concord, uh, Crow Pass, which is a very difficult hiking trail out there in Alaska. Um, and then he's really hoping for his son to come home during the summer. That may possibly happen, may not, because of this whole situation, because he is very far away here in El Paso, Texas. But, you know, it, that, that, may, that may happen. He may go out and bring his brother along with the ride, too. All right, so uh, look forward to that, Nathaniel. Hey, Morgan, i got a story for you and the viewers yeah. at home. All right, Let's talk well, about global warming. Well, I mean, that was our final story, but uh, okay. No, All we're right. going to talk about something else. i got, um, I got to throw this out there. Let's talk about global warming for a sec just a second. Like, seriously. I don't want seriously real news. We like to give you the real news that's not real, that's fake. But here's something. No, it's all real. Let's, yeah. Let's give you something that is real. Let's give you something to think about when you go to sleep at night. Um, an atom bomb or a nuclear warhead, let's just say, uh, do your research, do your math, uh, and the explosion rate of that bomb is uh, equal to 10 times the core of the sun. So, you want to talk about global warming. Let's talk about letting atom bombs and nuclear warheads off in the United, in the United States or the Earth and it pulling a f hole in the Earth or the uh, atmosphere and blow up, like, uh, you know. Yeah, and make it, make it a hole. Make it a hole in that Yeah, yeah, uh, I mean, that, that is some great thought. And Nobody talks thought. about that. No. Nobody talks about that. For that sure. we're burning holes in the sun using bombs for tests and uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki and. Big boy, little boy. And I mean, those kind of things really do stay in the environment for a very long time. I mean, think about like Chernobyl when that nuclear reactor went off. Still has radiation to this day. It's just now, very recently, uh, not too long ago. But they want to blame you for your car emissions and your uh, chainsaws and your two-stroke dirt bikes and all that stuff. But we're letting off nuclear warheads I ten mean, times. Ten times the, uh, the, the hotness of the surface of the sun. I mean, of, of the core of the sun, it's true. Well, Transportation district does not even compare to... The food industry, or even those nuclear reactors. Yeah, so 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 don't feel at blame at home. Just do what you do. Live your life. Raise your kids good. Spank them, and uh, tell them to quit twerking on TikTok. I thought we were going to talk about that. All right, thank you for joining us here on Serious Real News. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to get the latest on the most serious and real news out there. Hit that notification bell and comment below on topics or anything you want us to cover here on Seriously Real News. We'd like to thank you, Kelsey Smith, for a comment below on um, the workout quarantine workout video, which uh, Morgan commented or actually uh, did, and uh, we thank you for that. And as always, yes. I'm Kenneth Monroe, and I'm Samuel Morgan. Seriously, Seriously real, real news. news. All right, let's do my uh, TikTok twerking video now. No. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? Yeah. <laughs>